I've seen people die because of HIV. Others are infected. We say if you are not infected, you are affected. I've been now doing a research on HIV, uh, what we call in vivo modeling. We try to model cells. Uh, we, we want to see the interaction and the relationship between your body cells, the virus coming in, and what can we do to solve it. Health are things that you can't really just start without first understanding the problem. First, how does HIV get to the body? Which cells are targeted by the virus? So when you have that, you come up with a system of differential equations. So those differential equations will guide you to do more analysis. But for me, basically what I was more interested is about the control. There are many ARVs that have been brought to the country, but are they doing the right job? So that was my area of interest. I wanted to optimize this control. Uh, we want to have many people on board so that we can continue doing this research and hoping that the results we get can advise the government such that we are not just taking laws from outside. We can also make our own laws depending on the content and what we have seen on the ground. It's not people coming from outside to tell us what we need to do, it's about us. When I came at Strathmore, there was a call uh, from the German government uh, to apply for a scholarship and I applied and I got it. I also got some money from the National Research Fund for my research and the school has been very good to me. One of the challenge for sure was very personal. I lost my mom last year. So for 14 months I couldn't sleep uh, without taking something to help me sleep. Her death made me work even harder because I wanted to prove myself, right, that as much as she was my greatest pillar, she's gone but still she left someone who can stand on her own. For me balancing, uh, teaching, you are a researcher, you are a student, you are taking care of a home. I want to have guidelines, yeah, a timetable. This is what I'm supposed to do today, tomorrow I'm doing things. I really follow. When I was told I've passed, can you imagine you're presenting in front of professors, I think there were six, and they sit down, they have listened to you, and then they say, purity, you can graduate. That was it. I felt like, a load have been offloaded. My final remark would be, this is for me a great moment. Uh, the fact that I am the youngest doctor, I think at Strathmore and probably in Kenya for biomathematics. It's a moment that really inspires and motivates even young girls. You don't have to be the best student, you just need to ensure you are determined and do what is expected of you. My name is Purity Ngena and I am Strathmore.